Hi there. Welcome to another episode of New Books with Karen. I'm Karen from West Regional. The library is still closed and it's very quiet. I have four books with me today about how everyone is different, but we're also all the same. So grab you a snack, like maybe some really fat, juicy grapes, curl up on your sofa, and get ready, ready to hear about a couple of new books. If you like them, you can call the library or use the MPL app to go on your phone to put them up for hold on curbside pickup. The first book I have is It's a Moose by Meg Rosoff. Any precious. Wow, that looks like a fun room. When our new baby arrived, he had velvety soft skin and big brown eyes. He ate twigs and weeds. He's munching on a house plant. We were all expecting the usual sort of baby, so imagine our surprise. Instead of feet, he had four perfect hooves and his nose. He doesn't look anything like his family. I felt sad for the other babies. They all looked the same. We wouldn't wait to take him home and dress him in little suits. But he's adorable. Look at that. Grandma said he's the spitting image of her great Aunt Lydia. I see the similarities. But can you imagine having a baby moose? What happens when he gets bigger? Can he learn to ride a bike? Hmm. Put this book on hold to find out. Next we have Diabetes Doesn't Stop Maddie. And this is by Sarah Glenn Marsh, who the author also has type 1 diabetes. This is a really good book if you have a young one that is asking questions or if you have family members with diabetes. This is a very useful book. Time for school. Dad calls on Monday morning. Maddie pulls the covers over her head. She loves school, but it's her first day back since she learned she has type 1 diabetes. Her body stopped making insulin, which turns sugar in food into energy. Oops, pages. As she checks her morning blood sugar and gives herself insulin, her little brother, Alex, peeks in. Can I play with your phone, too? No, silly, she answered. This isn't a cell phone. It's an insulin pump. Remember how my pancreas stopped making insulin? This delivers it straight into my body instead. What's that? He asks as Maddie quickly inserts a fresh CGM sensor into her arm. This is my continuous glucose monitor, Maddie tells him. Ouch, he says, rubbing his arm. Does that hurt? Not once it's in, then I can't even feel it. The CGM gives me blood sugar readings, so I know how much insulin I need. But Dad says it's important to always listen to my body when I feel thirsty or shaky. Because that means your blood sugar is too high or too low, Alex finishes. And so we have a really good story about her learning all about how to deal with her diabetes and how others around her deal with it. Highly recommend this. Our next book, Too Sticky, Sensory Issues with Autism by Jen Malia. This is another very timely book. Very good pictures, very good information, because after all, we all see things a little differently and we like different things. Holly sat on her chair and poked pieces of pancake and syrup with her fork. She loved maple syrup with her pancakes, but not how sticky it was. If she was careful, she wouldn't get sticky syrup on her hand, but then she missed a piece. Her hand touched syrup. Holly squirmed and shook her hand in the air. I don't like getting syrup on my fingers. What do you want, Holly? asked her sister, Noelle. Holly groaned. Use your word, said Mom. Dishcloth, Holly said. How do you ask nicely, asked Mom. 
please, said Holly with a frown. Mom gave her a wet dishcloth. Holly wiped her hand. The sticky syrup made Holly remember her science class. We'd be making slime today. She worried slime would be sticky too. Maybe she wouldn't have to go to school if she ate slowly. Holly continued eating. But then Noelle's fork slipped out of her hand and crashed to the floor. Holly covered her ears with her hands. Loud noises hurt. I'm sorry, Holly, said Noelle. It's okay, replied Holly, like Dad taught her. Wow, slime. Slime making could be fun, although I can see that could be really sticky and someone might not like that. I wonder how she learns to deal with her slime in science class. But might want to put it on hold. Okay, this is one of my favorite new books. Since we live so close to the beach, My Ocean is Blue by Darren LaBeouf and Ashley Barron. I love to go to the beach. This is my ocean. They're walking on this little walkway to the ocean through the grass. My beach doesn't really look like that. And this is my ocean. Ooh, all that blue water. My ocean is big. My ocean is small. My ocean is shallow. My ocean is deep. I love catching hermit crabs and chasing the little birds. My ocean is slimy and sandy and sparkly and dull. I wonder what else her ocean is like. I wonder what other things she likes to do in her ocean. You'll have to finish reading the book to find out. If this book interests you or any of the other books in our catalog, call the library at 340-8555 or use the MPL to, app, to go app on your phone to place the books on hold for curbside pickup. When you get here, ask about the weekly art activities we have for children. It's also summer reading celebration time and we have a lot of information on our website, mobilepubliclibrary.org. We have reading challenges and downloadable book, book bingo cards. It's a little different than last year, but we have a, lot, a daily activity. So check online to see what we're doing. Happy reading!